Shallow Secretariat was a protest that had been planned by Andhra Pradesh Congress Chief Vaya Shadmila, but she had been restrained from going ahead with the protest. High drama that took place right at this Congress office where I am at. In fact, we joined by Shadmila right after she has been brought back from Mangalgiri Police Station where she was escorted. Madam, thank you so much for speaking with us. What had actually happened? You had planned for a massive protest, a call that was being given to you. Chalo Secretariat, and this happened that you, not only had you been forced to stay here yesterday night, spend the night here at Congress office, instead of the safety of your residents, you were forced to not conduct the protest as well. What happened? Please allow me to go back in time and remind you that when the Telugu states were split, the Congress party assured Andhra Pradesh a five years of special status. Then the BJP party assured that not five years, we will give ten years. But it's been ten years since that promise for ten years of special status was given. And BJP has not fulfilled its promise, not only the, of the special status, but so many other promises like the Polavaram project, like um, uh, you know, a steel factory in Kadapa, like a capital city for Andhra Pradesh and various such promises. Out of the ten promises that were given, not even one was fulfilled. So while BJP is being so lethargic, in fulfilling its promises to the state of Andhra Pradesh. On the one hand, we have the ruling party, Mr. Jagan Mohan Reddy, working hand in glove with BJP behind the scenes, unofficially of course. And on the other side, we have Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu, who is, who is openly itself declaring that he is going to have an alliance with the BJP. Here, the tragedy is that the opposition party and the ruling party are for the BJP. They are BJP's B team. So it's like the people, there is no one to fight for the people. The Congress unfortunately did not win anything in the last election, so that's why we do not have a stand in the assembly or the MPs here. But it is a Congress party that has been fighting relentlessly for the cause of the people of Telangana. I should say all these 10 years, the Congress cadre, the leaders have been relentlessly fighting and even uh, since the time I took over as the PCC chief, we have not uh, withheld uh, uh, you know, any effort in this regard and today was the day where we decided of course we have been fighting for the special status we have been fighting for the capital for the polaparam polavaram and all these things but today was dedicated to the youth of andhra pradesh because uh, very recently the government has announced that it's going to give a, a notification for 6000 dsc posts yes. well the background of that is that while mr jagan mohan reddy was campaigning before this election, that is five years ago, Mr. Jagan Mohan Reddy, the chief minister, the current chief minister, the then opposition leader, had promised that he is going to, you know, um, fill in all the 2,30,000 jobs in the various government departments in Andhra Pradesh through the APPSC. Not that was not fulfilled at all. The 2,30,000 jobs were not fulfilled at all. Apart from that, he promised a job calendar for the youth every January 1st and that was also not fulfilled for the five, past five years. We did not have a job calendar and he had also promised that he is going to full, uh, fill in all the 23,000 vacant teacher jobs. Mm -hmm. He called it the mega DSC that he is going to release. Since five years, our children have been waiting, the youth has been waiting, they have been preparing. They have been waiting so long and while it is just one month or two months away from the election, the government has gone ahead and released a notification for not 23,000 DSE posts, but for only 6,000. So this is not the mega DSE, this is the Daga DSE, which is a treachery is what we are claiming it to be. So, and that's why we decided to take up this fight in the past 10 days also, since the time the DSC was announced for the 6,000 jobs, Congress party, the Youth Congress and the NSUI has been relentlessly fighting. We have been agitating and today was the climax of it all where all the Congress heads, uh, leaders of all the states, the district presidents, everybody, myself in included, were supposed to come and agitate in the capital city of uh, Andhra Pradesh. And here we had declared that we will go to the secretariat and give our representation there. And since last night, 
since actually 24 hours ahead itself, since yesterday morning itself, arrests were being made, our people were being taken into custody, they were arrested wherever they could be arrested and then taken to the police station and detained there. But last night, while I was supposed to lodge somewhere else, I got news that even I am going to be arrested and therefore I had to take refuge in the party office itself, where they were already party cadre and you know, we had strength enough to resist the police here. That's why I had to do the whole night here along with the party carder in the party office itself. And this morning also when we agitated, we had intended to uh, go to the uh, secretariat and uh, along the way we came to know that our people were arrested and the, the count when we, you know, initially we did not, we knew that our people were arrested but we did not uh, know that uh, almost 9,000 people were arrested. This is mass arrests and that's why it pained me and then we asked the government why are we terrorists, are we gundas, are we uh, decoys, why are we, why are we being arrested? This is, this is democracy and we have a right to agitate and why are my people being held back, why are the Congress party card are being held back is what we question and eventually we finally made it to the secretariat and we were not allowed to get into the secretariat and all we wanted to do was give a representation and sadly the chief minister never goes to the secretariat even once a month he doesn't go to the secretariat and sadly today there was no min chief minister there were no deputy ministers there were no uh, home minister there was no home minister there were no ministers at all there was not even the CS you know, did you expect, and you you said you were sure that there were going to be arrests that were taking place of cadres who were trying to come here into Vijayawada from across districts. Did you think this kind of mass number of arrests will be made by the YSRCP government? No, I think this is unprecedented. This kind of mass arrest is not called for at all. There was no need for them to react so much unless they knew beforehand itself their failure of fulfilling the promises and the anti-incumbency that they are facing. This is only showing their panic. This is only showing their desperation. The people of Andhra Pradesh clearly know that this government hasn't done anything for the youth or even, you know, taken up a single fight for the special status since they've come to power. So I think this is just the panic before their loss. You've incidentally talked about how the current government, the ruling government, YSRCP and the opposition, that is the Telugu Desam Party, are both looking to the BJP as a saviour for a sort. Do you think this is a perfect opportunity for the Congress to resurrect itself back in Andhra Pradesh? the way it was during uh, Vais Rajshekar Reddy's times. Yeah, sadly, it is a sad thing that both the opposition party and the ruling party are working for the BJP party. This is really unfortunate for the people of Andhra Pradesh, but their true colours are now evident to all. This is evidence enough for all the people of Andhra Pradesh to see whose loyalties lie where. And it's only the Congress party that actually cares for the people, that actually is willing to fight for the people, that is actually not, uh, you know, not working behind the scenes with any other party. We are standing up solo and we are, uh, we are saying that we are going to fight for the people of Andhra Pradesh. And now, since so many years has been passed, the first five years, Chandra Babu Naidu Garu was the chief minister, the next five years, Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu was the chief minister. The first five years, Chandra Babu was uh, B team for BJP, the next Next five years, Jagan Mohan Reddy was beating for BJP. Any bill they passed, any time they needed, whatever they needed, anything, any Rajya Sabha, anything, anything the BJP asked, Jagan Mohan Reddy obliged. And we saw once and again that Jagan Mohan Reddy is for the BJP. In the BJP, you know, he he is actually the B team of BJP. But since 10 years now, the people have now realized that either be it Chandra Babu or Jagan Mohan Reddy, these people are BJP's people. So yes, Congress has a very, really bright chance in Andhra Pradesh. You know, you've gone today in the protest, you've said that Jagan Mohan Reddy, the current chief minister, is acting like a sort of a dictatorship kind of, uh, you know, governance that he is doing. Why this strong word against him? Is this just because of today what had happened, the incidents that unfolded, or has this been a pattern that you're seeing the YSRCP government constantly making? No, this is a pattern. It's not for one instance or it's not for one individual. It's not just for me. It's not just about me. Um, very recently, we saw two journalists being bashed up, really black and blue, mm -hmm. literally. And that's atrocious, I think. And we all have the right to speech and we all should be allowed to speak. And if the opposition parties are not allowed to even demonstrate, uh, you are not even go on an agitation, then what do you call this? This is dictatorship, this is atrocity, this, this, this is everything that you can name it. This doesn't seem like a democracy to me in Andhra Pradesh. This actually seems like some kind of Afghanistan and the ruling party is the Taliban's.
A last question to you, uh, not as an opposition, but as the sister of Jagan Mohan Reddy. Anything that you want to say to him uh, right after all that you've endured today? I only want to say that as the children of Dr. Vyasa, we bear the legacy of our father and it is in his blood. My dad's blood was to, when he gave a word, we actually stick by it. He actually would even go to any extent, even give up his life to stand by the word. And that's not what is evident in Mr. Jagan Mohan Reddy, my brother. And I really urge him to remember what was taught to us and to actually stand for the people at least from now on. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. That was Vaya Sharmila Dair, Andhra Pradesh's Congress um, leader and chief. She's also what was to be a massive protest to take place questioning the unemployment for the youth. She's now reached safely back to her Congress premises offices here in Vijayawada. She's also stating that there needs to be a fighting chance. Opposition should not be questioned and silenced by what she calls is a, uh, is a dictatorship kind of rule by the YSRCP's Jagan Mohan Reddy and government. With Vijay journalist Damodar, Apoor Vajay Chandran, India Today.